Welcome to the wonderful Wednesday Shave of the Day. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving and welcome back. It's good to see you. If this is your first time here and you're interested in learning how to straight razor shave, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then click on the bell next to it to be notified when I upload videos. That way you won't miss a thing. I do Shave of the Day videos every Wednesday and Sunday, so stop on by and check it out. All right? Tonight, I am using my Tierra Izar, and this is 69. This is just a beautiful little half hollow, or quarter hollow. Sorry about that. That's a beautiful little quarter hollow. Just a fine razor. It really is. It's quite an edge. And for our soap tonight, I have got a sample in here that has been blooming. This is Blue Wind Shave Shop on Essie. And this one is the bitter root. So we're going to check it out. You can look down in the description for a detailed scent profile. All right. So let's pour that out. We're going to get that on as a pre-shave like normal. Yeah. And see what this is like. Oh, wow. Okay. Got an interesting scent. Mm. Now this is woodsy, uh, like pine. Yeah, woodsy like pine. Mm, some oak moss in there. Very nice, very nice, clean, fresh, outdoors scent. Yeah, oh, that's good. Oh yeah, nice, very nice. Okay, now, for our brush tonight, I am using my Omega 10,098, yep. And we're gonna get that loaded up. There we are. Just as soon as I can get it to stick to this bowl. So I'm going to try that. Let's see what that does. Yeah, I just put that in there. There we go. That's sticking better. All right. So how you doing? It's the midweek shave. Yeah. Hump day. We have made it. Yep. To the midweek. Hopefully the world is treating you good and you're in high spirits and you're having a good week. Yeah. We're halfway through it, so that means that the weekend's right around the corner, which is always nice. Yep. And uh, hopefully you're having some good shaves. Let me know. Let me know. I've been hearing some good reports, like I say, down in the comments, and uh, really, really nice. Some good stuff. And, uh, you know, hopefully you're healthy. Healthy and well. Yes, that is important. Yes, it is. All right. And I'm going to say we have it. Again, this looks really good. Looks really creamy. And I'm just cleaning up around that bowl. Look at this. Look at that. Is that excellent or what? Yeah, this is good stuff. And what a fantastic scent this has. Now, we can get most of that on the brush. And then we're going to do that. Put it on there. Yep. Yeah. There we go. All right. Now, let's try this one out. This is the first time I've ever shaved with this. So I've been looking forward to it. And this is a, a sample, again, of bitter root. And so far, so good. I really like the scent on this one. It seems really nice. And if it's like uh, Aaron's other soaps, it is going to be a performer. Yeah. Yes, it will. All right. We're going to put a little water on that.
Now I do straight razor edge Friday specials on the first and third Friday of every month. So I got one coming up. So you need to check it out. It's going to be interesting, I think. And it may, it's going to close the door on the, the brush break in. All right. So we're going to look at that. And if you're interested in that, you click right up here to see how I broke in my Samoag Owners Club. All right. Could be a good one for you if you're trying to break in a brush. And uh, the way I get my ideas for Straight Razor Edge Friday specials is down in the comments. Go ahead and put your questions, comments, and suggestions for upcoming Straight Razor Edge Friday specials. And we'll get to it. All right. So that will, we'll be able to uh, do something for you as well, which I always enjoy. I enjoy the interaction. Look at that. Is that amazing or what? I'm telling you, that is incredible, incredible lather. Now, this is pass one, which means this is with the grain primarily. Let's do it. Nice. Hmm. Oh, look at that. Look at that. So great sides. Good cushion. Good cushion. And uh, this this razor's mowing right through those whiskers. Oh yeah, there we go. Yep. I'd do a better job of spreading that around, huh? There we go. Oh yeah. 
Nice. Nice. There we go. Got those. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> and this is a little tiny razor. And that is just standing up. Very nice. Yes, it is. One complete. Very nice. So good. Let's get that rinsed off. See how we did. Oh, nice. Yeah. And this has got nice residual slickness as well. Yeah. Get it wet. And that slickness is there. Yes, it is. That's always good. Yeah. If you need to do any touch ups, or uh, anything like that, that is great. Yep, let's get our ladder on. This is pass two. Yes, it is. Moving right along. Look at those suds. Isn't that excellent? Look at that. That is beautiful. Very nice. All right. Now this is pass two, which is primarily going to be against the grain. Let's do this.
Yes. Okay. Now we're going to switch hands. We can get in this other side. There we go. Nice. Now clean that blade off again. Yeah. switch hands and get this other side Now, as you see here, what I'm doing is exactly the same stroke I did with the first pass because I got scars and stuff in here and I'm not gonna go across the grain or against the grain in this area. That's just not gonna be good for me. So tip of the day, you can repeat a stroke in the same direction multiple times and get a better shave and get a closer shave each time. So you don't necessarily have to change it up completely. Oh wow, those cheeks are good. Yeah, they are.
and like I say, nice slickness. This is good. And this is the half pass because that's all I need. Get a little spot there, so we're gonna put some soap on it and it'll be fine, no big deal. Look at that. Is that amazing or what? Excellent. All right. Now, this is the half pass. This is primarily going to be against the grain on my jawline and my neck. You click right up here to see the half pass revealed if you haven't seen it. All right. Oh yeah, nice. Another good shave coming. This is so good. Hope you're having good shaves as well. There we go. Yeah, there you go. Another shave in the books. Yep, we are there. Nice. Let's get that washed off. See how we did. It felt good, so I'm thinking we got it. Oh, wow. Nice. Wow, that's a really good shade. Yep. And now, alum everywhere. I normally use that in every shave. This last time on Sunday, I forgot all about it. I really did. But normally I use it all the time. And for our aftershave tonight, we are using Bayer's. And this is the extra cool. This has got like grapefruit and like tangerine and uh, maybe a little menthol in there too for cooling. Yeah, it is good. Oh yeah, nice, nice, okay. There's that. Next up, on the Hip Parade. Yep, Osage Rub, oh yeah. 
we're doing it. Yes, we are. This is going to be good. This really has a fine scent, and I think it's going to go well with this soap as well. Oh, there you go. Nice. That is nice. Yes, it is. And cooling. Oh, yeah. Now, to top this shave off, Nivea Poche Balm. We're going to put some of that on. Yep. All right. That's nice. Nice. All right. Hey, thank you so much. Really appreciate you. You click right up here to see how to properly hone a straight razor. You click right over here to see my latest video. Click down here on the video especially picked out for you. Click over here on me. Subscribe, like, comment, share this video with your friends. Have a great shave and a good day, and I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.